Testament reading will be read by Mrs. Ekundayo Rosemary Gaba. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our, our lesson is taken from Job 
14 through 7, 7 through 12. Job 14, 7 through 12. I read. For there is hope of a tree. If it cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Throughout the wood, thereof wax holes in the earth, and the stalks thereof die in the ground. Yet throughout the same of water, it will burn and spring forth both like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yea, men give up the ghost. And where is he? As the water fell from the sea, and the flood decayeth and drives and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. They will not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. Thus ends our scripture reading.
our suits. Thank you. On this occasion, we have some tributes, and this afternoon we'll start with a tribute from the family members, and that will be given by Mrs. Ose Williams. Afternoon, church. I stand here this afternoon with a heavy heart to pay tribute to my cousin, who is a mother, a grandmother, sister, friend, and who has lived for four score years and two. The only solace one has said can is she has served a maker with distinction. Such lives in a, a such lives for the believe and believe in the Almighty God for assistance. Men as she was fondly known. This name Mer, is everywhere. I went to London in the 90s. Everybody, Mer, 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 Mer. And I say, ah, Mer, this name is there all the whole time. Mer, as she was fondly known, is a product of the St. Joseph Secondary School with the motto, Esto Fidelis, meaning, be thou faithful. She was very faithful and sincere in all her life. She works very hard for all she needs. She works at the Connors Hospital, State House, finally at the Customs Department. After work, she engaged in her private business. engaged in a private business. She, is, she was honest, straight, and forward, charitable, and disciplined. Mare was very caring and has concern for all. She had given her last cent to assist anyone. To her, to, her to her, everybody was a brother, a sister. She was lover of children. As she continues her journey to serve and make her, I pray that the Almighty God will pardon and forgive her for any sins she have committed. May Sleep on, beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Lay down your head upon the Savior's breast. We love you well, but Jesus loves you best. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Sleep and take your rest. Thank you. We'll continue with the tributes and Norma Mayor has a very strange friend. She came all the way from London and that is Mrs. Emma Salter Macron. Good afternoon, church. Well, I come 
is very with a heavy heart. Because the last two days, me and me talk. You can call me mommy, you never call me Emma. And we so they close to each other. You can call me. Say, mommy, I want to let go buy something for me now to take him. Or on a cash for. I can go. I go buy the thing. I said, man, you go and bullet all this. He said, uh. He said, when I can, and to two o'clock money. He said, I can go take two. He said, then I can make him tea. I drink. He said, I can feel better. We can exchange gifts. We can go visit me. Even the time where I lost my husband. He was so caring. Every day, he go talk to me. He said, Bia, he said, me, no more see, I don't lost me own. He said, but still, I did Bia. He said, you tell Bia, he said, God go call me soon. Then send the work and go charge me light. He can say, what thing is I did? Which I know go charge him for you. I can say, man, which I did sleep. He said, sleep, go wake him. Go wake him. He said, then one day, they no go born to ruin day. He said, because I go meet you in the bed, now one slap at the day you drop. <laughs> now I say, man, I say, you know ya. Yeah. As you see, you make social service don't come. Me can't take you to Kingo. You know, we get to Ibu. You know, go know say I did do. I say, you go grab. I can wait, wait, so say, I go call you, child. Which I know go grab. Which I go manage. I go, I go charge me light. And say, I can say, mommy, but I want that you buy something for me. He said, but not take that trolley. He said, that trolley, they go give you pain. He said, take me you. I said, no, man. I said, I don't use that one day. So we did as one, like sister, close now, my body. Because when I get me sick too, so I can go tell him. When I tell him, life self not the heavy. You can still keep him. And he said, wait, tell me, see, Chris. Ange, no go pass. <laughs> I go keep on. Go on, I saw we did. We did a sister. So I saw feel him, I feel him, I feel him. We may. We talk up to the Wednesday. I said, almost o'clock, he did go. He said, and I ready, they can't ready for go to. He said, I may enjoy the go. Now I say, okay. I say, God carry you go. He say, okay. He say, but not forget that thing, oh, because now me and him could know the thing. Nobody. Nobody. He say, a day. Now I say, okay, man. I say, when you come by God power, I say, I go can't take him. I say, I get some more day. If I don't do it, I He say, okay. He go. Sunday. I go to church. Now, hey, Pastor Mary, they talk to somebody. He say, me don't go. I say, where I go? I say, I'm in uh, America. I did they go. I say, me don't die. I say, ah! Me die? He say, yes, me die. That whole afternoon, day, I don't feel no good. No good. But I must tell you now, the time where men left for go, we say if they come, we don't say goodbye to we go. Now the first thing that I heard, I say I know when the spirit talk to me. He said, "Men go able." That's not the one word. Men go able. And they go home. Now the same thing. Mego able. Oh, I don't understand this mego able. Mego able. The obvious. When mego, men no come back again. But I tell God, thank you for a life. I tell God, thank you. He not left me one. I see within another England. They say, look in one fridge, one fridge. They say, always now morning. Sometimes they go call me. 
Mommy, you open your telly. You, you, you see the crusade there? You see where one that's played there? I say, yes, man. I say, I stand. <laughs> now I say, look that picture. We get that belly. He say, look at The belly don't go down. Now I say, well, now the mystery of God. I say, God himself, they walk in wonders. May introduce one biscuit to me. He said, that biscuit in a sun plate. He said, he said, it's fine. He said, go, go try them. And when I go try that biscuit, I don't introduce them to 10 people. <laughs> 10. Because you can eat them to one day. You can eat them with uh, uh, butter. You can eat them with tea. So, you know, get no problem. Any one way eats that biscuit must say, I want more. When I can show self, two persons ask me, say, bring that biscuit to because I let them. Let God bless you, man. Let God make you, you reign na God in kingdom. Let God give you heaven. But I don't know that would I will get in secret so that secret day we left where you they go. Who that have for talk and so I talk and so Jesus. I jo Jesus no more now I will get the answer from. I wish you heaven, let heaven lay now your heart. You don't go, but you still it day. You still it day. They can't talk to me. Let your spirit they talk to me. Because I see use for talk to me. Let your spirit not left me. I cannot get what I go, I go talk to now. I know God will go talk to you. In Jesus' name. I get one thing who I want to bring. I get one thing who I want to bring before I left. I tell the family then, hush, now we all get it, Lord. We all get it. I will miss me. I will miss them. That corner there. I'm just so sorry that this new place where it goes. I know you'll be for good. They can tell me, say, Mommy, he says, now you want the day now you quarter. He said, I for talk to them. Make you can near me. Because we're not left with self. We're not body. Make say body. So I tell the na us. Now we all get the us. We all go miss them. In Jesus' name. When we are Get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that we see when we are when we are oh, get to Thank you for that sweet gift there. I know say, mommy, you go keep the secret. But that's the way may left. I pray say, you go make a inherit <laughs> <laughs> One well, word for continue and when may they give England, or well, last it is uh, English, may in England, uh, may not only bring people together, but may adopted people. And uh, today, again from London, we have 
Mary's adopted granddaughter, and child aged Sawyer will come and give a tribute to Grandma Mary. afternoon church. If I had to describe my grandma Mare in a few simple words, I would say that she was an incredible woman, humble and inspiring to all those who she came into contact with. Although she was not my grandmother by blood, the love that she showed my family and I was one of a kind. From birth, Mare was there to guide my mother through the trials of motherhood, and as my late brother and I grew, she soon turned her attention to us. She made it a priority to instill values into us that we would one day pass on to our own children, and for that I am forever grateful. If there is anyone to thank for the person I am today, it's Mare. When in need of moral support or spiritual guidance, she would always be there, even when I would stray from my path. While her passing comes to a shock to us all, let us not grieve for the loss of an admirable woman, but cherish all the good times we had with her. If there's one thing I know, Mare will forever be close to my heart through the simple acts of her kindness. For example, this fan waved goodbye for me over 20 years ago. Um, even though she promised that she would give it to me as a wedding gift, it wasn't meant to be, but the Lord knows why. I know that as she enters her new heavenly home, she will rest in peace, for she will be truly missed. But her legacy will continue to continue through the lives of her children, grandchildren, and any grand between them, the amen and those that came to know her through her life. Mare was a gift from God sent to touch the hearts of many, and having fulfilled that purpose, the Lord called her home. Don't think of her as gone away as her earthly vessel no longer remains, but continue to carry out your lives in the way in which she would have wanted us to. May the Lord grant her eternal rest. Rest in peace, Mare. Charlie, Charlie, do you know Creole? No. Huh? Okay, so let me translate what you said for <laughs> them in Creole. All right, okay. Well, I'll do that next time. I'll do that next time. And, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, Mama May did not only adopt Charlie, she also has an adopted daughter, and uh, that is Reverend Joy Chiu. No, uh, she went with Grandma May to America, and she was with Grandma May when she died. So let her come and give us a tribute. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, church. It is with a heavy heart that I stand here this afternoon giving this tribute on behalf of myself, my husband, Reverend Ibrahim Ture, my daughter, Esther Ture, and Abraham Ture. Dearest may say Ivy Leomi Sise, as we used to call you. Up until this moment of your passing, it seems as if I'm still dreaming because I couldn't believe that taking you to United States of America, Atlanta, I will not come back with you. It is so difficult for me to accept that you've gone without saying goodbye. 
You've left me with so much pain and sadness because you took me like one of your own and love me and my family unconditionally. I miss you so very much, especially sometimes when I'm not feeling well or down. Your words of encouragement always gave me source of strength and courage to forge ahead, no matter how hard the situation is. As you always say, joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Especially driving to work in the morning, I will call her. You did there? You don't wake? You say, yes, I'm praying. Then me and I will just pray as I'm driving to work. And afterwards, we will chat until I get to work and then pack my car and say, me, I don't reach you. We go talk later. And then in the evening again, after work, I will just call her again on my way to work. We'll chat and then uh, when I get home, I say, I don't reach you, me. He say, okay, go take your bath and go sleep. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And that has kept me going. You are such an angel on earth that God sent my way, even with my kids, who fondly call you Mare the Pair. I missed all your fun, all your care and support. You are a shoulder to lean on. You never say no to anything except something which is beyond your reach. I can remember when the kids were much younger, especially with Esther, when sometimes being naughty, you will always say to me, Joy. Now for try for them pick here home. Because before us us foot na MBA and us foot they fala. So I'll say, okay, me. And those words have, have helped me so much for me to be able to train up my kids. And I thank God for their lives today. What more can I say, me? The day is not enough to talk about how exceptionally and how amazingly wonderfully we are to me and my family i have no one to cook for anymore i have no one to shop for anymore because i could remember vividly when we went to america when we are chatting he said joy when we go back i want you for go cook okra soup for me i say okay ma but that is no more anymore no one to shop for no one to cook for no one to go out with on occasions like party or any church function. When, when given the time for any occasion, I will say, man, we are not going early because we just go and sit there. I say, Joy, you know me, oh, I know time. I know I'm late. Come pick me, make we go. She's always on time. And that is no more. You are my mom, my best friend, and my confidant. And I can attest to what mom say. You will tell me anything and no one will hear it. You've left me with a very big vacuum which only God can fill. However, I believe and know that you are in a better place with no more aches and pains. As you usually say to me, joy, body they suffer for soul. Because of the pains that you go through sometimes. But in conclusion... I just want to thank God for making it possible for us to see Mayor's remains here in Freetown, Sierra Leone. And for the life of our dearly beloved Daddy Bishop and our mama Lady Patricia for giving our mom such a befitting burial. We want to appreciate you and may God bless you. Mayor, I miss you so much. Abraham and Esther miss you so much. I don't know what to say, but I just want to thank God for your life. Because you taught me, taught me so much. There is so much that you imparted in me. And I thank God for those moments that I spent with you. God gave me the opportunity to spend the last moment with you. And I appreciate God for that. And I believe in a, you are in a better place. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you so much, Reverend Joy. Well, in, in Freetown, May adopted so many people, so many. It was when May died that 
in Freetown, those who came from England are saying, May was loving, May was kind, May was so and so. But for us in Freetown, whom May adopted, Udago Giri 70 pong, 50 pong, 20 pong. Every time May comes, even if she does not come, she, she always send us money. And our money is label. This for this, this for this, this for this. All for people. We will miss her. We too in this church especially will miss May. Well, we'll continue with the tributes. I have some emails here. And this one is from the Colouis family in Atlanta, Georgia. It starts with a poem, A Silent Tear. Just close your eyes and you will see all the memories that you have of me. Just sit and relax and you will find I'm really still there inside your mind. Don't cry for me, now I'm gone. For I am in the land of song. There is no pain, there is no fear. So dry away this silent tear. Don't think of me in the dark and cold. For here I am, no longer old. I'm in that place that's filled with love, known to you all as up above. Let us remember me by how she touched all of our lives. A favorite sister, auntie, mother, and friend. A prayerful mother, a beautiful singer. We would sing and pray before the end of every phone call. A caregiver, a great storyteller. Her memory was intact till the very end. A secret keeper. You can always confide in me. Your secret will always, sa will always be safe with her. An inspirational and motivating mother. She inspired so many to do the right things. She would say, Na for manage who, we all don't turn manager now. Let our memories build a special bridge and bring us peace of mind. God has me in his arms. We have her in our hearts. Me, we sadly miss you, but never forgotten. Till we meet again, love always, the Cole Lewis family in Atlanta. Another email, and this one I will read is from um, Denise Elizabeth Betty King. Mese Ivory Leomi Sisi. Your memory is now my keepsake, which will never part from me. God have you in his keeping. I have you in my heart. I remember when May came to America in May. She sat down in her room and asked the grandchildren to line up outside and in turn called them inside one by one, teaching them to speak Creole which was very entertaining to the children. My daughter said to me, I see why you always stay four, five hours on the phone with Grandma Me. She is fun and easy to talk to more than you, Mama. And I also remember telling me that we are going to start using WhatsApp on our phone. I went outside and called a phone, and I can hear her say, Na Betty, the Ambog Miso, with a smile. And then a few days after, I heard her saying to someone over the phone, I'm using WhatsApp now. 
Do not buy any more phone card. Call me on WhatsApp. Yes, May is fun to talk to. She is a secret keeper, a prayer mother, a storyteller, a friend who you can talk to when you are down, who will listen to you, advise and pray with you, a loving aunt who always ends all our conversation with the words, I love you. The joy of our God is our strength and stay blessed. I can go on and on. Mercy, Ivory, Leomi, Sise, as you close your eyes in rest, may all your pain be lost forever. May you find paradise, a world of eternal life. May your soul rest in peace. From your niece, Elizabeth, Betty, I love you and miss you. Your legacy will live on. Uh, the last one is coming from Joseph Olatunde Gaba Kuruma from Barcelona. Dear Grandma, I never knew, I never thought I will be writing this message to you at this particular time. You left me at a time I needed you most. I received the news of your death with shock and disbelief, especially when I have not set eyes on you for over five long years. It pains me more because you didn't even say goodbye to me. To me. I will always value and cherish your love, smile and great sense of humor. You are indeed a caring grandmother, and I will always miss the pound sterling I receive from you. You are a kind-hearted person with a sweet and charming personality. Indeed, life will be a real challenge without you because you have always spoiled me with your love. To this day, I can still not believe that today you have become history, but the volume of your life and kind deeds will surely over outlive you. Who will give me the biscuits that I cherish so much? Maybe uh, mommy will continue to do that. <laughs> Who will embrace me with that comfort of a guardian angel? Tell me what rights and you tell me what is right and wrong and help me to make a good decision in life. As much as I love you, I also will want to thank you for all the valuable lessons that you have given me directly or indirectly. I promise to keep them in my heart till the very end. I have so much to say to you, but this is all I can say right now. I promise you that I will always be the good boy you expect of me. Sleep on, Grandma, and take your rest. Your darling, Joseph Ola Tunji Gaba Kuma from Basa Luna. That's the end of our tribute. Well, you have a little paper and will stand and sing further along. Further along. Tempted and tried, we are oft made to wonder why it should be thus all the day long.
all now listen to the epistle read by Mr. Mike Sisse. Good afternoon, church. The epistle is taken from the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 13 through 18. But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye not, even as which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which are asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall be prevent, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall send to heaven with a shout, with a voice of archangel and God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Verse 18. Whereof comfort one another with these words. Thus saith the epistle. Amen.
gospel will be read for us by Reverend Dr. Lady Patricia Kuruma. Shall we all rise for the Holy Gospel? The Holy Gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 14, beginning to read from verse 1 to 6. John 14, 1 to 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare, go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Thus hence the reading of the Holy Ghost. Fair. Kindly sit as we have a special contribution. Last night I lay asleep in, there came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer Yeah. 